I'm going to examine seven different conditions looking at the relative concentrations of penetrating and non-penetrating solutes in the cell and the solution and then determining the tonicity and osmolarity. So the first one we're looking at here you can see that the cell has three non-penetrating solute particles and the solution also has three. This is the number you're looking at to determine the osmolarity. So because each, the each of the cell and the solution has three the, the osmolarity is isoosmotic. So the solution is isoosmotic to the cell and the cell is isoosmotic to the solution. Now what we have to look at is the movement of water. Remembering that water is always going to move towards the higher concentration of non-penetrating particles. In this case they're both equal so there's going to be no movement of water so the tonicity will be isotonic because the cell will neither shrink nor swell. In this situation the solution only has two non-penetrating particles and therefore the solution is hypoosmotic. It has fewer solute particles than the cell. If we now look at the movement of water we are going to see that it is going to move from the solution into the cell. That's because there's a higher concentration of non-penetrating particles in the cell. So that means that the cell is going to swell and if the cell swells that means the solution is hypotonic. In this situation the solution now has four versus the cell that has three non-penetrating particles and that means that the solution has more so it is going to be hyperosmotic. The solution is hyperosmotic to the cell. The cell would be hypoosmotic to the solution. If we now look at the movement of water again it's going to go into the area where there's a higher concentration of non-penetrating therefore water is going to leave the cell it will then shrink which means that it is hyper tonic. Now you can look back on the last three situations. There was only non-penetrating solutes present. You also note that the tonicity of the solution was the same as its osmolarity. So if there's only non-penetrating the tonicity will parallel the osmolarity relative to the cell. In this situation we now have introduced a penetrating particle in the solution. Looking at the numbers, we have three non-penetrating in the cell, we have three penetrating in the solution. It does not matter as far as osmolarity goes whether they're penetrating or non-penetrating. So in this case, because both numbers are the same, which represents the osmolarity, it is isoosmotic. Cells isoosmotic to the solution, solution is isoosmotic to the cell. Now, however, if we look at the movement of water, we're going to again note that the water is going to move towards the non-penetrating so water will move into the cell and the cell will swell making the solution hypotonic. So we have an isoosmotic solution which is hypotonic. In this situation the osmolarities are not the same. The solution has four representing for perhaps 400 milliosmoles, let's say four penetrating, and the cell has three non-penetrating. Because the solution has a higher number of particles, it is going to be hyperosmotic. The cell being hypoosmotic. Looking at the movement of water, water will now move towards the area of higher non-penetrating, so once again, the water is going to move into the cell, the cell is going to swell, which makes the solution, once again, hypotonic. So we now have a hyperosmotic solution, which is hypotonic. Now we have a mixture of penetrating and non-penetrating in the solution. Remembering, however, it is the sum that you look at for the osmolarity. So in this case, we have three in the solution and we have three in the cell. Therefore, osmolarity, isoosmotic. However, now if we look at the movement of water, we're going to see that it's going to go towards the area of higher non-penetrating. 
Okay, so it only has one non-penetrating in the solution, so it's going to go into the cell once again, and the cell will swell, making it hypotonic. In this final example, if we add up the number of particles, we have five in the solution and only three in the cell, making the solution hyperosmotic. Looking at the movement of water, there are three non-penetrating on both sides, so there will be no movement of water, so the cell will neither shrink nor swell, making the solution isotonic.